Salzburg concluded a difficult run of games against the top six by facing their toughest opponents of all. They'd never beaten by Leverkusen in 19 attempts. Heiko Herrlich's side has lost six of their last seven, too. For Peter Bors, it was one win in six. Leverkusen's problems in the last week had centred around conceding late goals. This time they gifted one early. Nicolas Lorm missing his clearance, Florian Niederlechner gratefully accepting after only four minutes. The ball hit the stand-in keeper's standing foot, taking it away from his leg and into the path of the Augsburg striker, who celebrated a third Bundesliga goal of the season. Leverkusen went on to dominate possession and spent much of the half in the home side's half, but they failed to make that count, and this was the only other real chance before the break, also falling to Niederlechner. Route 1 it may have been, but it very nearly proved effective. Boss had work to do to improve his side's decision-making in the final third. Lorm understandably hopeful they could do that, so the early mistake wouldn't spoil his full debut. But things looked to have got worse ten minutes into the second half, when referee Christian Dinger pointed to the spot after Timothy Forsumenzel's foul on Niederlechner. Augsburg thought they had a penalty for the second game in a row. However, the VAR intervened and the visitors were let off. Ruben Vargas had been offside when he collected the ball, so everything that happened after that didn't count. Unfortunately for Helix Augsburg, their first victory ever over Leverkusen at the 20th attempt was denied them in the final seconds of stoppage time. Damari Gray setting up Edmund Tapsoba for the most dramatic of conclusions. An opportune moment for the defender to score his first ever Bundesliga goal. Peter Boss had tried every tactical twist and substitution before then, but pushing the centre-half up front proved to be the solution he'd been searching for in the previous 90 minutes. The home players understandably shattered. Boss himself wasn't particularly happy, but praised his team for still believing and fighting to the end.